Chaitik incident is not only against the people who love human right to claim human freedom, human rights, everything, but what happens today in the country is undermining the constitution. Now, we are not sure whether the constitution will last under the present regime. They have a program. The program to see in course of time this constitution be faced by the RSS drafted constitution. RSS drafted a Indian constitution long ago, much for the last 50 years or so. They want that constitution to come to come in. And they were waiting for the suitable opportunity. So what did what you see, the first thing Modi did when he came to came to power in May 19, 2014, in the first week of the session in June, they get brought in, that is uh, NJAC, that is how to appoint the Supreme Court judges, that is that the act they brought. Now, uh, for what? That law was brought. The law was brought with the sole idea to see that the college will be replaced by a government appointed committee. Uh, here I have come to tell you, college we have never approved in the past. I have criticized college because nowhere in the world judges are appointed by judges themselves. And therefore we felt this was fundamentally wrong. But we never thought it should be taken over by the, by the government like the one we have now. That was never the idea. In many countries today, there are separate appointment committees, for example, for example in England. There is a general appointment commission and in that not a single judge is there. There are nine or ten members are there, not a single government man is there. It is a totally independent body. And at one time, till two years ago, it was headed by an Indian lady, a forget her name, who was in South Africa, shifted to a UK, settled there and she was active for social activities and so on, and she was the head of that. And so even last year, in the month of Jan, the Supreme Court judge, Chief Justice Supreme Court retired. And in each place, another judge has been appointed. There are two candidates. One, the next man immediately after the after Chief Justice, and the other was the secret judge of the Court of Appeal. So the high court for one now. But it is a college that is the appointed committee that decided that the vote was finally given to the next senior most judge of the Supreme Court. What I am going to tell you is totally independent in the method of selection, in the method of vote, calling for this, the kind of thing we won't take. But when Modi came to power, NJAC was brought with the sole idea of replacing the colleges and taking power to the government to appoint whom they want. Why did they want to appoint new judges? Big question. Because they want to change the constitution. How to change the constitution? And what is, why, why do they want to change the constitution? What are the features they have to change? You know what happened? We have the Keshavar and the Bharati case. We say basic features of the constitution can never be changed. And again, on principle, as a professor of politics or law, you find that again that proposition is unfinished. Because you can't have that kind of proposition. But when uh, NJC brought this law, my first reaction was, what is this? They want to, they want to have their own judges to overrule the case for the Bharti case. They, they know without overruling the case for the Bharti case, they will not be able to amend the constitution, particularly the basic features of the constitution. And that is the reason that they were brought. So when the Supreme Court did take that, I, I supported it. Somebody asked me, I, if the statement came in TV, I said, yes, no, I mentioned that. We are not accepted this kind of thing, but now, under the present circumstances, it's a good thing that the Supreme Court has done. But since then, what has happened now? Slowly, slowly, we find that the judiciary also not willing to stand by own earlier reputation as such. We have heard uh, uh, there is 
l-am fi la ușară până atât, au de gente de tot nu care este ce poate poate ce ați putea să rămâneți și ce te cauți pentru că nu e gente for nearly two years in spite of the college of what is still a gente in spite of large number of vacancies the government would not approve now of course slowly slowly about being approved uh, slowly slowly the element of so that thinking to be introduced in the tradition that's a fear i have and i think it is in that sense our association as a white and poor state because we have fought for democracy we have fought for freedom we have fought for liberty and for and and the reclaim can never agree to a constitution as drafted by the rss uh, so that's a fear that, that we have and i think this we of course here pass some resolution we have secured some constitution we have been but our group is not that large as to as to influence at every level but i think we have to make the people aware what is going on apart from uh, fighting at a court level i think we also fight at the level of the people we we'll tell the college the both the colleges go to institutions tell them because today what they have done within two years all governors of states have have been replaced by strong hard people the president candidate for the president the president's post the ram 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 covid who is he done the post to show really the rss man and what will he do no he will be good man everything what will he do he will do according to dictates of the party it's a kind of thing so question should have been would he maintain the constitution as it is or would it act would it not interfere with the government at all so the whole question is misunderstood it is we got a better than it or anyone it is a question who was regarded faith in the constitution and you see the constitution is protected that is a fundamental rule he takes would he stick to the rule these are the questions which you have to consider and therefore when we think of these things we have to have a judiciary a judicial level we have to fight but at the very the other level we have to organize i do not know in my lifetime but i will to see your success i wish you success i can only say because this is our honor you to fight everywhere for example what is going to touch me you must understand the aspirations of people what is going to my people we must understand what is happening there what what happening in the rest of the country today Today, if I speak against the government, sedition should have been scrapped long ago. And so many things have been said from time to time in every conference. In England, they have brought the sedition act, and we have still kept it. Sedition was brought by the Britishers for the purpose of saying nobody talks against the government, because that's how it was brought up. And and. by committee sedition the way to get what you want to get therefore that is one thing we have to speak strongly we can speak up but at the same time today you have freedom to talk but you don't have freedom afterwards after this when you go home you don't know what will happen you don't know who will attack and where the things are going on is absolutely scary and so when i was invited for this program and uh, also requested that i should be with them i was always with them and all the different sagasin program and also take an active part with bhukur sinha when he was doing so much in gujarat and uh, but uh, tell you things are going to back to work and uh, i think started with the more intent so i think uh, i just want to say a few words i thought that because i have to go early before i have to speak I don't want to speak it. At least we have all spoken various items. I must compliment the teacher, Tipsy, who he was uh, 26 years younger than me in the division. Okay, he take it. But I'm glad he has come forth. I want people like that. See, one of the important things uh, our judges, retired judges, I'm telling them quite a number of them. But a plate of numbers goes down because it is a retired judge who can do quite a lot. 
Retardants who know the Constitution. Retardants who understand what the concept of freedom is. Retardants who can show your own ten people. And retardants are respected in the society. And therefore more and more generations come. That's what that is Krishna did. When Krishna retired, he had about 15, 16 generations in him who do whatever he said. That's how he invited me. He invited me to join with the movement, in the sense, it was like a movement. As some inquiry here, inquiry there, some what is in take place. Bombay, for example, we had a huge riot in 93, 92, 93 after Bhavi was revolution. Myself, and we had another jam, Jesse Dow, who he died. Uh, we conducted an inquiry, we brought a report called Peace's Verdict. A Peace's Verdict exposed, actually, officially, Dr. Paul to Jesse Sri Krishna. And Sri Krishna took six years to make a report. And we did it in six months. See the conclusion of what Jesse Sri Krishna, after a fifth level back, after a fifth level of what were the things he came to the conclusion. And, and see our report is identical. This, whereas many reports, the Judicial Commission, the report becomes favorable to the government. Not in the case of Sri Krishna. But what I'm trying to emphasize is, we did that work within six months. And we went to Gujarat, 2002. We brought, I was there for 15 days in the month of May, the hot season day. So we went around, talked to people, recorded statements. We brought a report. We had just a sound with us. Just a pretend came for a day and the other people was there. So many people were there. And we did that and I got a report called what is a Crime Against Humanity. This is, this is the title of the book, our book. It was a, actually, it was a zero slide. And as a result of that, Modi's visa was cancelled all over the world. He could not go anywhere because he had no visa. Because United, the, the international bodies do recognize violation of human rights. And they have prominently noticed that this is a real zero sign or a sign of humanity. And therefore, they took the right stand not to condemn and give the visa. But of course, gradually, gradually, what happened? We can brought a report within 10 months after the, after, the, after, the, after the riot. That is, in 2002, February, March, we brought a report by October. We released that report. Again, there is, Government had appointed initially on judge of the High Court, Mr. Jay of the High Court. Thereafter, they appointed Jesse Nanavati, and there Mukul Sina played a major role. Mukul Sina brought evidence of the evidence before the judge, before Nanavati Commission, and his, his work was admitted. He did not hesitate to expose everyone. That commission went on for 10 years, but even today, the commission is not functioning, the report is not This is a kind of thing. Since it's a kind of work we have been doing, yet you know what happens in this country is gradually the shifting, shifting our regard of all positive ideas are strongly. That is that is that part. We people need to understand our constitution, particularly the preamble of the constitution, particularly Article 21, with a wide well, interpretation. So much so I wrote a book, all human rights are fundamental rights. Because all other come on, in any case, whether it's future or not, it will come under Article 21. 20 rights, four seven, in just Article 21, in such a way, it includes all that goes with life. That is your food, the roti, kapla, makar, everything. This is what, what the system says. And that is human right. Your dignity depends upon your food, your education, your job, all those things. That is why such a broad interpretation. Now they want to eliminate the constitution and its fear. Other day somebody said, soon you find, I think I see it now. What he said was, soon you find Savarkar as a father of the nation and Mahatma Gandhi will be the stepfather. That's the day. Thank you very much.